Hello Virgo, I'm Susie from The Gift Tour 2. This is your reading for the week of the 7th of June. For the next seven days, um, angels, spirit, guides, universe, Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. What would you like Virgo to know about the next seven days? Virgo, please. Virgo for the next seven days. Virgo, angels, spirit, guides, and universe. What would you like Virgo to know about the next seven days? Virgo. <clears throat> Virgo, 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 Virgo. What would you like Virgo to know? Next seven days for Virgo, please. Angels, spirit, guides. Universe, angels, spirit, guides, universe, angels, spirit, guides, universe. Ooh, quite major cards. So devil, devil's on the bottom of the deck. Uh, something very tempting this week. Something very uh, fun, sexy. Someone could have a vice, toxicness. Um, it could be very manipulative, also stands for a Capricorn. Um, I want to say be careful, that's what came to my brain. Uh, Queen of Cups, you're doing things, expressing yourself, you feel loving, you feel nurturing. Um, could be dealing with the Pisces, but there's there could be an upgrade in as far as a team goes, or it could be a third party situation, this could be someone at work. Um, you're feeling left out in the cold, you're feeling in debt, you could be lacking in, in resources. Um, but this, it could be because of a king of wands, an Aries or Sagittarius, a leader, a boss. Um, and there's an ending, a transformation here, an ending to something so that you can have this new love, this new beginning. There's something transforming. You're happy doing things healthily, doing things that make you happy. Someone could be upgrading you like a promotion or in, as part of a team of people, a group of friends or a group of people. You feel good, they're giving you something. But you owe someone some money or someone owes money and there's needs to be paid off it could be this king of wands or this manager or this leader and something's coming to a natural end it's like something should have been re relinquished a long time ago maybe this group is making you feel left out in the cold or this queen of cups it's like you're only doing things you love and now you feel left out in the cold by this king of wands something's coming to a natural end but there's a new uprush of feeling. It could be for a Scorpio. Um, there's a, a patience here. There's waiting. Uh, this is the Sagittarius card as well. This is a waiting period. I see it as the September card, the conception. Um, if you don't want babies, be careful this week. There could be a, you could be fertile. Um, but you're walking away from, from being this, this patient or testing the water of something. It's like I've overgiven in love. I've overgiven my heart. I've been this queen of cups. I've just overgiven maybe monetary as well. Um, I'm walking to, I want a partnership. I want a, a commitment. You're walking away to a commitment where, or a, a contract or a partnership where you feel worth, where you're worth um, your weight in gold, basically. And you know your worth. You're in your element here. It's this, it could be a house, you're walking away to a new contract, a new team. It's like you've been offered this new feeling, this new love, this new thing, and you're walking away from overgiving. So you, you're going into a quest, about to embark on a quest. There's lots of um, stability here, it could be a house or some kind of place to live um your angels are really looking after you it could be a, you're very psychic you've got the king of cups here scorpio cancer pisces the counterpart to the queen of cups that you might meet this person at work there's a commitment real commitment offered here and there's abundance of money and there's an inheritance a, a lump sum of money a commitment to something it could be in secret Someone expresses their love to you. There's a, a security. This, this king wants to offer this security, this commitment. 
and this puts you at the crossroads where you have all the power in this situation. You, you get the money, you feel left out in the cold, you, you're in debt or this person's in debt. Something ends naturally so that a new uprush of love can come through. There's a patience in it, but you're walking away from overgiving to, towards or overgiving to a commitment to hold your worth. There's some kind of guidance that comes in, angelic guidance. It could be a counsellor, someone to help you, someone helps you. Um, and you're spiritually committed to this security, this family, this uh, uh, this money comes in and it puts you at a place of art, writing, publishing. Um, you're choosing what direction to go in because you've got the backup with the money, you've got the backup with the security. And it's like, right, I have to make this work. I'm going to make this road work or this one work. It's all down to you where you plant your magic wand as the magician. You can manifest whatever you want. But if it's it's like no one... Um, with the magician, if you choose the wrong path, that's all down to you. You can't blame anyone if that doesn't turn out. You've got to make it work. It's like if everyone says, don't go back to this person, don't go back to this person, you choose to go back to them and it doesn't work. It's like that's your fault for not making it work. No one, everyone told you, you know, you wanted to embark on that journey um, knowing the consequences so you can make things go up or down you can't blame anyone else if it doesn't turn out but you do get an abundance of, of security here because it'd be a marriage could be some kind of um, or you might be standing at a crossroads after you get this money about who do i what road do i take um but it's about writing it's about publishing it's the pen. The power is in the pen. Angels, spirit, God, universe, what would you like in the spoken word? Manifestation. Write the things you want down. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Angels, spirit, guys. Maybe you're getting feelings for someone in a group. And you feel left out by this fire sign. And there's a transformation being offered or of home being offered. And you're waiting patiently, but you're walking away from, could be walking away from a home to, go, to, to hold your worth or hold the fort so that you can have this new love or this kind love, this feeling love and a commitment. Yeah, unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. It's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. And retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. So I think something's ending with someone that, that has left you out in the cold. Maybe there was a third party situation. Um, they want passion, you want love and feeling. I think this death card is a transformation towards a new feeling for somebody. That could be like a twin flame situation. She's pouring from the two cups. And you're being very patient. But someone's walking away, maybe from a group or a, a contract or a partnership. And this is your element. You're in your element here. You could be offered a new home or a new house. Your instincts are on point. Go with your heart. Go with your instincts. You're grounded. You know what you're feeling. Um, someone wants to offer you a commitment. There's money here. There's a lot of uh, security here. But you're still at that crossroads. It's like, what do I do? Um, you make something great. You make your life great. You manifest your life. The, you manifest exactly what you want to happen. And that's what will happen. It's saying there's something unrequited here. There's romantic feelings. There's something else that's unrequited. There's not enough attraction. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. And it's time to disconnect from the world. You might just take some time off. Walk away from something. So before you make this, this decision, but you must know your worth here. Hold the bar. Say, no, I know that I'm grounded. I know I've got my money. I've got my food. I've got my land. I've got my home. I'm, I can hold the fort for as long as it takes until this king offers me or my committed king comes back. Let's ask the angels what they like.
Virgo tonight. Virgo, 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 Virgo. You're in your element. You're very psychic. You've got Daniel. I'm the angel of marriage and I'm assisting you right now. Angel, spirit, guys, what would you... Virgo. We've got as you honour and follow the guidance of your heart, prosperity is coming to you now. Go with your heart. Just go with your heart, Virgo. Um, it says, um, now is the time to learn, study and gather information, patience. Enjoy being a student because in the future you will synthesise your knowledge into action. So this is strategy. This is work. This is the pen. This is something you're following your heart, your God-given gift. There's angels on your shoulder guiding you on something to that's committed and it's going to have a lot of security, a lot of abundance about it. It could have something to do with um, communication, art, publishing. There's also a, a love here, a new love, something that's kind. But I think there's something also ending at exactly the same time because someone could be in debt, someone could be lit. Um, it's like the more you're in this work or this group, you feel left out. Maybe you're a manager to this group and it's like, I don't want this anymore. I just want to do something new. I'm willing to wait for my new job or wait for this new thing that's coming. Um, but the angel of marriage is Daniel and he's coming in to help you with your relationship. He also says that your relationship won't turn out like your parents. You've got to honour your heart and be patient. Be very patient. Patience is here and patience is here. Someone could offer you a home, a new contract, a partnership. Go with your instincts on this. Go with your spirituality. Go with the commitment to love, to, the, to what you love. Um, and money's coming in, abundance of money. You're going to have money to do whatever you want. So that, that's what puts you at this, this, this decision. Spend it wisely. You don't want to end up giving it away again. So you love with nothing. Angel, spirit guides. The person most on Virgo's mind, what would they like to tell them? The per person most on Virgo's mind. The timing just wasn't right for us. It's that being patient, isn't it? Angel, spirit guides. What the person most on Virgo's mind, what would they like to tell them? I was... It was my fault, but I blamed you. Angel, spirit guide, person most on Virgo's mind. Person most on Virgo's mind. I wish I had treated you better. I am not available. I can't stop thinking about you and my life is not as together as it seems. Yeah, I think there's something new coming in for you, Virgo. I think that that devil on the bottom of the deck is pretty appropriate. There's some unrequited love. This person didn't know what they had when they had it. Um, but there's definitely something coming in for you. Go with your gut. There's some love coming. Someone's going to be very kind to you. Um, and you're very powerful in the situation. I uh, hope I've helped you. Take care, Virgo.